It's almost exactly two years since nine-year-old Sarah Payne went missing after playing in fields near her grandparents' home in Sussex. Well, to mark the anniversary, Sarah's parents have released a CD to promote Sarah's Law. They hope the song will help boost public pressure for tougher measures against paedophiles. It's called Sarah's World, a tribute to the life of murdered schoolgirl Sarah Payne. The song's being launched today at a special event in Shoreham, West Sussex and the profits will help to create a UK-wide network of safe houses. Well, these are uh, separate houses that are all police-checked um, and it's somewhere safe for the children to go. You know, if they can't get home because they haven't got a bus fare, then they can go to this house and they'll sort it out and make phone calls. Sarah's uncle, Paul yes. Williams, asked his friend Mark Scott to write and record the song. He co-wrote the original version of Believe that later became a number one hit for Cher. The, the great thing is that he has captured perfectly um, the emotion without um, going overboard, but also the passion and in, in a beautiful melody that every parent should listen to. When Sarah's killer, Roy Whiting, was jailed for life, it emerged that he had committed a similar offence five years earlier. The grieving process didn't really start until the trial ended. Um, and it's a slow process. Since the trial, the pains have campaigned for Sarah's law to give people access to the sex offenders register. The Home Office says it could drive paedophiles underground, but her mother hopes the song will help persuade more people to join her crusade. Jenny Percival, Sky News. Well, joining us now from West Sussex is the song's composer, Mark Scott. Mark, thanks for joining us here on uh, Sky News. Why did you write the song? It was a request from Paul Williams on, on behalf of the family, of the Payne family, and uh, it was it, it was just a, a request that certainly it was um, a, a very important um, for the futures of our children, really, and to catch the innocence as well of the poor little girl, you know, Sarah, and a mother's fight to have changes in the law and really do something for the future of our generations. So um, it was it was a, a fantastic chance to really get involved in something so real and so you know, brutally honest, you know, that we could do some good to the futures of these, you know, the most important things in our life, children. It's a very sensitive subject. I mean, it must have taken uh, a lot of time actually thinking how you were going to put this into the, the words of a song. Absolutely, it really did. I had to dig deep in every sort of area of my mind and, and, and my composing skills, but it, it, it came, and when it came, it just, it just fell, into, you know, fell into place very well, really. And all the parts, it did take you know, almost three months to compose to get it right, but it, it's got all the messages that I wanted to carry for the Payne family within it. So it, it, it has got a message for every parent and every child to listen to safely, uh, and that's the, one of the big messages from it. Right. Now, the, the song is being launched today, as we heard in that report at this special fun event, but, but it's not actually available if, should anybody want to, to, to buy it to, to, uh, to support this campaign, is it? I mean, you're hoping that that will happen. Certainly, yeah. This is the first airing, really. This is because obviously we've come up against the sensitivity issue of it. You know, some of the main artists that we have approached, they've all endorsed it, they've all applauded it, but they didn't really want to get involved because of the sensitivity. But now people have a chance to actually listen to it. And this is where we need a major record company to really get behind this because it's to do with such good in the world and good for our children and, you know, really pass this safety message. So we do need a major record company because we've had interest, but nobody's committed and they, but they've all applauded it but they've got to get over this sensitivity thing because this is to, to you know is to do with the real world you know where we are and it's now such a, a big issue this whole paedophile situation and also the money is going to a safety house where ch children can get refuge you know in every town it's in it's in Australia it's in other countries so why can't we have it here but we do need a major record company to get right behind it because it's a serious it, it's a serious song OK, well, I uh, hope the event goes well today. Uh, Mark Scott, thank you for joining us on Sky News. Thank you so very much. Cheers, John. Let's bring an update on some...